You know what the chicken's missing right now? A shot of salt. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the kitchen. My name is Trey with Ghost Tactical and tonight we're doing a special edition of Guns and Grub where we mix our two, one of our two of our favorite pastimes in the world, guns and food. If you're out there and say that you're not a food person, well, I need to think you need to check your head a little bit, maybe even line a little bit. But what we're going to do is do a simple, simple recipe and then while we're cooking, talk about a gun. Tonight, we're going to welcome you to our house and welcome you to our kitchen. This is where some people say the magic happens. My wife will tell you that this is where the disaster happens when it comes to me and cooking. I just got into cooking uh, a couple years ago. I've always liked cooking, but I suck at it. But I've been trying to learn how to cook and different things for a while now. And I can make some simple dishes. I'm one of those guys that you have to uh, give me a recipe and I can kind of follow it. My wife is one of those who can go to the pantry, pick out 10 things, and just make something. I, I'm not that guy. Um, but I have been learning some dishes and all that. So what we're gonna do tonight is we're gonna go to the great country of Italy. Tonight we're going to do a chicken parmesan. We're going to incorporate a classic Italian dish with a classic Italian firearm manufacturer. So like I said, we're gonna have chicken parmesan with a side of a Beretta APX. So most of the time you're gonna find chicken parmesan is going to be a spaghetti noodle with a tomato sauce and a breaded chicken breast with some Parmesan chicken and all of that. What we're gonna do tonight is try to eat a little bit healthier and all of that, is not make it a breaded chicken breast. We're just gonna do a grilled or more of a pan seared uh, chicken breast. So the first thing we gotta do is get everything ready. So we've got all of our ingredients ready over here. We're gonna have the spaghetti. We've got our chicken, our, our, some of the spices that we're gonna use. And then we're going to have our, our skillet and our pot for the, the spaghetti, the noodles, and then a pot for our sauce. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna make the sauce tonight. That's gonna take way too long. We made the sauce last night and had some spaghetti with it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to start boiling the water for our spaghetti. What this does is between the, getting the boiling up and then cooking the noodles themselves, it gives us time to go ahead and, and put the chicken in and get it going as well. So uh, let's go ahead and start all of that. So if you guys notice over here on our stove, uh, we've got some aluminum foil over here covering the other burners that we're not using. Um, I have been known, according to my wife, I don't necessarily believe her, but according to my wife, I am not the cleanest cook in the world so we cover up all the stuff so it's easier to clean when we get done so what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and start the burner up here and we're going to get the water going next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn on this burner with uh, we're going to use for the chicken and we're just going to put a little bit of olive oil in there you definitely want to let this uh, the pan get warm and all that before you throw the chicken on there. It's going to help kind of get that nice browning and all of that and, and get real hot on the pan. So now that we've got this uh, nice and warm, we're going to go ahead and throw our chicken breasts in there. We're going to season it with a little bit of roasted garlic. Just a little bit, just a splash of roasted garlic. We're going to go with a little minced onion. We like uh, garlic and onion in this family, so we're going to use that. We're going to throw in uh, some gunpowder, uh, or some people call it pepper. Just throw in a little dab of pepper on there. You know what the chicken's missing right now? A shot of salt. The salt gun. So at this point, we've got uh, everything 
going. We got the water starting to, to get a little bit warm. We've got the chicken going here and we're gonna cook this. Now, you wanna be very, very careful cooking chicken. The last thing you wanna do in cooking chicken is serving it raw. It can uh, make someone very, very sick, possibly even uh, kill them, which we don't wanna do. So we wanna make sure we cook the chicken all the way through. Uh, the internal temperature, if you have like a little thermometer or whatever, needs to be about 160 to 165 degrees internally to make sure that the chicken is cooked all the way through. Now we talked earlier about the sauce. This is a, a wonderful sauce. My wife is uh, very, very good with sauces. Um, so like I said, ground beef, onion, chopped onion, um, diced tomatoes, a small can of, of spaghetti sauce, Worcestershire sauce, garlic, all the Italian seasoning, all that good stuff, and it is a, a wonderful sauce. Okay, so we're gonna get that. It's looking pretty good on that side. See how it's nice and golden right now. We're, we're gonna let it go on each side a, a few minutes and all of that. Flip it over, kind of maybe even throw in some butter there towards the end or whatever, but uh, to get it going. Like I said, you really want to make sure that you cook your chicken all the way through. 160 to 165 degrees internally. All right, so now that we've got the chicken going and all that, uh, let's go talk a little bit about the gun we've chosen for the night. Once again, uh, this is, by the way, it's cleared and safe and all of that. This is the Beretta APX. Uh, this is one of my favorite semi-automatic striker fire guns i'm a big beretta fan as most of you guys know but when beretta came out this is all 2016 2017 somewhere in there they came out with the uh their first striker fire semi-automatic pistol i believe this is the one they sent into the military trials that the sig p320 ended up winning but uh, it's a uh, capacity it's a nine millimeter gun they also offer it in 40 smith and wesson but the barrel length's about four and a quarter inches um, and it's a capacity of 17 plus one in the nine millimeter phenomenal feel uh, a great look to it shoots great excellent trigger and uh, if you guys have any questions on the bread apx go ahead and check out the video up there and, and you guys can see all you want about our experience with the apx all right so we're gonna get that nice there we go that's what we're looking for getting that char on there let it go for a little bit. The water is getting close to boiling, so once we get that, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw the spaghetti into the water and cook it for about seven to eight minutes. Looking really, really good. So we're gonna go ahead and check our temperature here for the chicken. So it's 167. So what we've got going on now is the chicken has finally gone to its uh, desired temperature, about 165 degrees. That way it's not uh, raw, and you're not eating and getting sick, possibly die. The water is now boiling, so what we're gonna do now with the water is go ahead and throw the spaghetti in there. And we're gonna use just a little bit of Salt. This is Okinawan salt, so you don't you have to use a lot because this is pretty strong stuff. Now we're going to let the noodles go for about seven or eight minutes, and the reason why we want to do that is uh, you want them al dente. Okay, so noodles are done. Chicken looks great. The sauce is ready to go. So at this point, now it's just time to plate and eat. So, got the noodles ready. We have a little bit. This in there. Then when it comes to the sauce, some people want to put some, a little bit of sauce which I like, a little bit of sauce between the noodles and the chicken. So we're gonna put just a, a little bit of sauce, not a ton, just a little bit of sauce 
over the noodles before we put our chicken right on top put a little bit more just a little bit more sauce you can put as much sauce as you want I guess if you're a if you want to use a ton of sauce you're more than welcome to just put a little bit more sauce and then obviously what makes it chicken parmesan is a little parmesan cheese so we're going to go ahead and grab a little bit of parmesan and our finished product is a beautiful chicken parmesan all right well i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of guns and grub we made a beautiful chicken parmesan and talked a little bit about the beretta apx like i said guys if you want information about the apx and some videos we're going to have some videos at the end of this one over in the end screen that you can uh, go ahead and check out the apx if you're wanting to uh, do some cooking let me know what your recipe that you like to, your go-to recipe if you want something quick and easy uh, have you made chicken parmesan before if so how did you do it did i do something wrong i'm just learning so i could have done this all wrong but uh, this is how i'm going to do it in a healthy way and uh, after that we're going to uh, just enjoy this so guys thank you so much for joining us in our kitchen in our home and uh, watching this idiot work out this devastating I'm going to call it devastatingly good chicken parmesan. Some people might call it a disaster. I don't know. We're going to find out. I hope I don't get sick with this. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you at the range or at the kitchen. Simplify.